to today's meal, we are going to look at how to cook a shayot. The shayot looks like when you buy it organically, very prickly. Um, you need a glove to hold it, otherwise your hands become itchy. And you'll see the difference between right ones and not right ones. Like the front there that you see, that's the one that if it's open, it's going to be too hard. If it's closed, it means it's nice and tender. This one is somewhere in the middle. See, so removing the seed, that's because it's slightly older. But if you get the light ones, that seed can be edible as well. Remove all of the, when you get the grooves, take the skins out of the grooves. Wash it, because there's, that sticky stuff does make your hands itch and it can be itchy as well. Sliced it quite thinly. So let's now look at the nutritional value. Good complex carbohydrates, no simple sugars. An array of m massive vitamins and minerals in here. No trans fats, no saturated fats. This is an extremely healthy vegetable to consume. So back to cooking it. So we add it to a pan with a little bit of butter or oil and add some curry leaves, some salt and some garlic. When you hear this sound, you know it's time to start simmering it. So you add some boiled water, freshly off the oil, and cover and add simmer for about five to ten minutes. And we'll check it every now and again to see if it's softened up enough to make it edible. So check one, you can see it's still firm, not ready yet. And check two, now you can see, nice and soft, ready to eat. All that's left to do now is to leave it half uncovered and let the water reduce away until you're left with a very small amount of liquid left and a very soft and succulent shallot ready to eat.